Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. I am sorry that、uh, we are running quite late today. Hello, you know Himi. Hello, Horror. Hello, Snow. And YTH. Or is it Ethan? I think it's supposed to be Ethan, isn't it? Hello. Hello, Kaine. I ended up、uh, crashing a little bit and taking a nap at about five o'clock in the evening,、um, which is really not a good idea. But, but you know, it it happens sometimes, right? You just take a nap at at five p.m. You know, so. I am wide awake now.、Uh, so we'll probably go on a little bit, even though I have work in the morning. <laughs> no worries, Ethan. I figured it out at least. Evening horror. Thank you for shouting out the YouTube's and Twitters. Hello, Violista. I woke up just moments before you started. Perfect timing again, then, right? Okay. Sorry, we have background Nikki noises today. She is munching on her treat again. Lunch. Hello, Holly. Welcome, welcome. No, Ken. Is it the same one from last night? Yes, the story, the reading. Yes, we'll be finishing that today. Jemima, Jemima the goose, the duck. What was it called again? I have it right here. The tale of Jemima Puddle Duck. Missed the first stream today. Glad I can catch this one. Yeah, it's the fun thing about having double streams in one day, right? I listened to the first pod from today, and I think I was okay with the audio, so I'll probably go ahead and post that one on the YouTube's、um, tomorrow after the twenty-four hours is up. Because、uh, Twitch requires that we wait 24 hours after the stream to post the pods on YouTube. Hmm. I think today we will start off a little bit of reading for once. Normally I keep it to the end, but I am a little bit too wide awake. I think so. Maybe some reading will help that. Where were we? We only really got like two lines in or something. Hmm. Give me one second. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Alrighty. Let me move this over here. So it's easier to read, and then I can do this, and that should be okay. Yep, that's good. Hello, Pepper. Welcome, welcome. Her sister-in-law, Mrs. Rebecca Puddle Duck. Was perfectly willing to leave the hatching to someone else. I have not the patience to sit on a nest for twenty-eight days. What? Did you lose your your snack? What's wrong, Nikki? Come here. It's right here. Do do do. What do do do? There you go. Don't drop it now, okay? 
have fun. I have not the patience to sit on a nest for 28 days. Seven, thank you for the follow. Please make yourself at home. As thanks for your follow, I will give Taco a pet. Hello, Eve. Welcome, welcome. Let me know if I am pronouncing your name uh, incorrectly, by the way. And no more, have you, Jemima? You would let them go cold. You know you would. I wish to hatch my own eggs. I will hatch them all by myself. Quacked Jemima puddled up. She tried to hide her eggs, but they were always found and carried off. Jemima Puddle Duck became quite desperate. She determined to sneak a nest right away from the farm. I be Derpin. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, Derpin. She was set off on a fine spring afternoon along the cart road that leads over the hill. She was wearing a shawl and a poke bonnet. When she reached the top of the hill, she saw a wood in the distance. She thought that it looked like a safe, quiet spot. Jemima Puddle Duck was not much in the habit of flying. She ran downhill a few yards, flapping her shawl, and then she jumped off into the air. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a good day, thank you. Oopsie, wrong, wrong thing. It was a day off, so automatically those are Preferable to working days, I think. She flew beautifully when she had got a good start. She skimmed along over the tree chops until she saw an open place in the middle of the wood where the trees and brushwood had been cleared. Jemima alighted rather heavily and began to wandle about in search of a convenient, dry nesting place. She rather fancied a tree stump amongst some tall foxgloves, but seated upon the stump, she was startled to find an elegantly dressed gentleman reading a newspaper. He had black brick gears and sandy colored whiskers, Quack, said Jemima Puddle Duck, with her head and her bonnet on one side. Quack. The gentleman raised his eyes above his newspaper and looked curiously at Jemima. Madam, have you lost your way? said he. He had a long, bushy tail, which he was sitting upon, as the stump was somewhat damp. Gemma thought him mighty civil and handsome. She explained that she had not lost her way, but that she was trying to find a conveniently dry nesting place. Ma'am, that is a fox. I am begging you, do not take his advice. Are you done? Are you done? You wanna go down? Oh, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Oh, she's not done. There we go. Oh, is that so? Indeed, said the gentleman with sandy whiskers, looking curiously at Jenima. He folded up the newspaper and put it in his coat tail pocket. Jemima complained of the superfluous hen. Superfluous. Indeed, how interesting. 
I wish I could meet with that fowl. I would teach it to mind its own business. But as to a nest, there is no difficulty. I have a sack full of feathers and I would shed. No, my dear madam, you will be in nobody's way. You may sit there as long as you like said the bushy, long-tailed gentleman. He led the way to a very retired, dismal-looking house amongst the fox foxgloves. It was built of turf, and there were two broken pails, one on top of another, by way of the chimney. This is my summer residence. You would not find my earth, my winter house, so convenient, said the hospitable gentleman. There was a tumble-down shed at the back of the house, made of old soap boxes. The gentleman opened the door and showed Jemima in. The shed was almost quite full of feathers. It was almost suffocating but it was comfortable and very soft. Jemima Puddleduck was rather surprised to find such a vast quantity of feathers, but it was very comfortable, and she made a nest without any trouble at all. When she came out, the sandy whiskered gentleman was sitting on a log reading the newspaper. At least, he had it spread out, but he was looking over the top of it. He was so polite that he seemed almost sorry to let Jemima go home for the night. He promised to take great care of her nest until, until she came back again the next day. He said he loved eggs and ducklings. He should be proud to see a fine nestful in his woodshed. Jemima Puddle Duck came every afternoon. She laid nine eggs in the nest. They were creamy white and very large. The foxy gentleman admired them immensely. He used to turn them over and count them when Jemima was not there. At last, Jemima told him that she intended to sit, to begin to sit next day. And I will bring a bag of corn with me, so that I need never leave my nest until the eggs are hatched. They might catch cold. Madam, I beg you not to trouble yourself with a bag. I will provide oats. Before you commence your tedious sitting, I intend to give you a treat. Let us have a dinner party all to ourselves. I hope your quiz went well, Ethan. May I ask you to bring up some herbs from the farm garden to make a savory omelette? Sage and thyme, mint and two onions, and some parsley. I will provide lard for the stuff. Lard for the omelette, said the hospitable gentleman with sandy whiskers. Jemima Puddle Duck was a simpleton. Not even the mention of sage and onions made her suspicious. She went round the farm garden, nibbling off snippets of all the different sorts of herbs that are used for stuffing roast duck. Hello there, welcome, welcome. She waddled into the kitchen and got two onions out of a basket. The collie dog, Kep, met her coming out. What are you doing with those onions? Where do you go every afternoon by yourself, Jemima Puddle Duck? 
Hello, Paolo. Welcome, welcome. We are reading the tale of Gemma Puddle Duck. Onion, yes. Gemma was rather in awe of the collie. She told him the whole story. The collie listened with his wide, wise head on one side. He grinned when she described the polite gentleman with sandy whiskers. He asked several questions about the wood and about the exact position of the house and shed. Thank you for the hydra redeem for you. Alrighty, I will mute myself for just a second and drink some water. Palan, thank you for the follow. Please make yourself at home. As thanks for your follow, I will give Doku a pet. Pet, pet, pet. There we go. One moment. There we go. Hello, Hirito. Welcome, welcome. Alrighty. Then he went out and trotted down the village. He went to look for two foxhound puppies who were out at walk with the butcher. Gemma Puddle Duck went up the cart road for the last time. On a sunny afternoon. Mr. Common Sense, thank you for the follow. Please make yourself at home. This thanks for your follow. I will give Toko another pet. Hmm. She went up the cart road for the last time. That sounds, uh, uh, what kind of story is this? I thought this was a children's book. Yes, we are reading Gem and Pahirito. No cake. She was rather burdened with bunches of herbs and two onions in a bag. She flew over the wood and alighted opposite the house of the bushy, long-haired gentleman. He was sitting on a log. He sniffed the air and kept glancing uneasily around the wood. When Jemima alighted, he quite jumped. Name is spelled wrong on purpose? No worries, I figured. I'm sure uh, uh, there are lots of Twitch names that have to be cleverly misspelled because the correct spelling ones are already taken. Come into the house as soon as you have looked at your eggs. Give me the herbs for the omelet. Be sharp. He was rather abrupt. Jemima Puddle Duck had never heard him speak like that. She felt surprised and uncomfortable. While she was inside, she heard pattering feet round the back of the shed. Someone with a black nose sniffed at the bottom of the door and then locked it. Jemima became much alarmed. Hello, Papa Rallin. Welcome, welcome. A moment afterwards, there were most awful noises. Barking, baying, growls and howls squealing and groans, and nothing more was ever seen of that foxy whiskered gentleman. Presently, Kep opened the door of the shed and let out Jemima Puddle Duck. Unfortunately, the puppies rushed in and gobbled up all the eggs before he could stop them. He had a bite on his ear, and both the puppies were limping. Jemima Puddle Duck was escorted home in tears on account of those eggs. Dang, rest, rest in peace, the babies. Ah, I see, Mr. Common Sense got it. 
She laid some more in June, and she was permitted to keep them herself, but only four of them hatched. Yamama Puddle Duck said that it was because of her nerves, but she had always been a bad sitter. Is that how the story ends? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Lagging, it's cutting. Stream seems okay for me. Hopefully for the rest of you it is okay. Hello Doge. Yeah. What a that was not quite the end to the story that I was uh imagining it would be. Hmm. Hello Mio. The baby, yeah. The the eggs were gobbled up. Maybe, maybe she should have let, uh, let somebody else hatch those eggs for her, possibly. <laughs> the baby gone, yeah. Alrighty. Let's see, let's see. I will have a look-see at other stories we might be able to read, but maybe we will take a break from reading and do brushing triggers we'll read more later it's okay on your end nice nice what did you buy yesterday mm, let's see a 3d was it a 3d from the cookie jar. Maybe we can read that one. That sounds like a <clears throat> one that's not going to end very sadly. A new task cam. Oh, hold on one second. I need to clear my throat. Task cams are nice. Very, very comfy. I love uh, tapping triggers on those. Hope it goes well, Papa Ellen. You got this. Mm, let's see. Let's see. It's supposed to be public domain. Oh, is it here? I'm trying to look for a link so that we can read it when we are ready. This one work? Oh, yo, yo. Nope, that's to buy it, but it's public domain. Hmm. Is it not actually public domain? Maybe I was lied to. Hmm. Hmm. What about this one? I can't believe I had to go to the second. Yes, Nikki. Second page of Google. Are you done munching on your treat now? You want to go down and finish your actual dinner? Yeah. You want to go down. Give me one moment. Alrighty. Good job on the chinzari. Yeah, my illustrator was so cute. It turned out so well. Nikki Nikki. She do be squirming. Alright. Here we go. Pat, pat, pat. Yeah, okay. Thank you for the pet talk, Timio. Okay, that there, and we have this if you like, and where are my earphones, those and all, I hope the internet oh, sorts itself out soon, Nathan. Okay, let's see, let's see, it was on sale on AliExpress, 
Wow, I've never... I didn't realize AliExpress had a uh, task cam. It's interesting. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's see. If it's public domain, why? Why do you have to pay for it? That's kind of weird. Interesting. Alright, well, I'll look for something else. In the meantime, we can do some more trickers. Mm. Brushing, I think. Let's see, let's see. <coughs> let's see, let's see. We can start off. You know what? Let's try the foam filter. Since we didn't do that earlier today. make yourself at home and thanks for your follow I will give Toko a pen when she's done kneading you would have to clear my throat again hmm. alright there we go you said the wi-fi and it's good now nice nice I dislike internet problems greatly I am so happy that we now have a, um, a Ethernet cable. On Google Docs, really? Well, if you would so wish to, you can feel free to uh, post a link and we can read it then for you. Thank you for finding that. other countries oh no it'd be like that so pain then in my last house i would have internet issues all the time there would just be random times of the day where i just wouldn't have internet at all Sleep on. 
so thank you for dropping by Just, uh, I could never sleep on it. I don't, I think I've maybe only ever slept on it twice, three times in the two, in the year and a half maybe that we've had it. It's not the comfiest couch. <laughs> neither because the thing about the cushions on the back was it wasn't uh, like built in to the couch you could remove them very easily and they would also slouch a lot to the point that um we would need to like fluff it up almost every time otherwise it it wasn't very comfortable for for sitting or sleeping down. Yeah. What a shame. Bed for comfort, transformation of sleep. Yes, bed is always the best. I wish there was a couch that had wheels like an office chair. Ooh. I think I've seen couches with wheels. Not a lot though, but it's heavy, yeah. I also wouldn't I'd know about a couch that like, if I, uh, it, that, you know, it might get bumped into and then it just moves. It's a hassle to move back to the right place. I feel like a lot of times I see it when people have carpet, so it doesn't really move anyway. <laughs> I know that some people, um, 
will put these mats underneath it and the mats help make it easier for the couches and chairs to move Candy Cage, thank you for the follow, please make yourself at home and thanks for your follow, I will give Taku a pet when she's done eating Are you always as calm? Uh, certainly not but um but 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 uh during ASMR we try to be comfy oh no I must have forgotten to fix that actually let me do that before I forget because I changed my name um because I changed my name all of my links uh now have to be changed oopsie it's fine it's fine let's see is it the panels yes it is the panels let's see if that let me see if that works now and unedit click the link there we go Noise. Perfect. Thank you for letting me know. Quick scoping. Doing ASMR right now. She's usually shouting on stream. I don't usually shout on stream. Only if <laughs> we still try to think, keep things fairly comfy uh, in gaming streams too. But if something really terrible. Uh, or shocking, I guess, happens, God forbid, and, um, then, then I guess there could be screaming. Even her model looks calm, thank you, Pam. Yes, normally, we try to be comfy. This is new for you, I hope it is a good thing. Maybe only during Ace Attorney. Do I scream a lot in Ace Attorney? Do I? Do I? There's been a lot of shouting in Ace Attorney recently. I can't. Is it a voicing thing or is it a me reacting to things? I genuinely don't remember screaming on stream lately. Hello, academic. Hello, Griffin Greatness. Welcome, welcome. There can also be a lot of crying, like with Imposter Factory. Yeah, there was one scene where I was like crying really loudly. Um, that was well, crying really loudly. I was, I was uh, being upset a little bit loudly. But even then, but that's like that's that's usually not that much, right? Shouting while catching rare Pokemon. Okay, yes, I will agree to that, Mio. Lonely love, thank you for the follow. Please make yourself at home. As thanks for your follow, I will ignore the fireworks in the background and give Doko a pet when she's done eating. Hello, Valka. We are good. Just vibing today. Yes, I, I do shout sometimes while catching her Pokemon. That is, that is a thing. Only a bit though, yes. Only when you're reacting to things, okay, yeah. I was gonna say, hopefully not that much. And hopefully it doesn't like, uh, uh, it's not too, it doesn't sound disgusting in the mic. Hopefully it sounds okay. Hello, Joe. Welcome, welcome. Alright, I will. Put down the, the uh, foam like filters for now. I wanted to try more scratching with them because I was listening to some, to some really nice scratching triggers. Maybe we'll try a little bit. Could you try doing soft speaking? This is soft speaking. If you mean whispering, I don't. I personally don't really care for whispering. It's also harder on my voice to whisper, so I can't do that. Can't wear Pokemon, which game Sword or Shield? 
No, um, we are playing a Pokemon Ultra Moon randomized chat lock right now. So anytime we find a really cool Pokemon, uh, we get pretty excited. I thought this was whispering for some reason. Does it, does it sound like whispering? Let's see, I can try to go, I can, I can try to go a little bit louder. Is this, is this better? Do we want to try it like this for a bit? The randomizer has been a ride, yeah. Almost every day we are finding, um, finding new, new, uh, Legendary encounters, I feel like. Hello, Zeka. Half whisper, half faint voice. Okay, we can try whispering and I'll see. I'll have you guys compare. If I am whispering, it sounds like this. I dislike whispering, but for for fun, we can we can whisper. Definitely different from your usual soft voice. Yeah, yeah. See the difference now? Yeah. Is there, do you guys have a preference? I cannot do this for two hours, I think. Ultra, ultra moon, yeah. Don't think I've ever done any kind of nuzlocke. It's a lot of fun. Uh, sun and moon is my favorite generation. Spring. Cheeky 
Regular, soft spoken for a while. I don't think it's as hard on my voice as I thought it would be. So maybe once in a while we can switch it up. 
if anybody redeems it with the uh, the uh, trigger request redeem, we can do that. But for now, we'll go back to this off spoken. I'm surprised that so many of you loved it so much, though. Very long, pretty different from the rest of them, but I enjoyed it. Nice, I'm glad to hear it. Hopefully one day, when it comes out on the Disney Plus, I'll be able to watch this well because I don't really want to go to the movies just yet. Stop spoken. Yeah, we turn return to your regularly programmed Jin ASMR. Are you checking your newly bought item shipping status after you just checked out? Or are you normal? Usually, I personally wait a bit until I get the email and then I start checking like every day. Oh, thank you, Ethan. Understandable. Hope you enjoy it. I hope I enjoy it too. There's a few Marvel stuff I haven't uh been able to catch up with recently. I didn't watch the uh, Loki series. I only watched the first episode, I think. And I also didn't watch the uh, Shang-Li one, I believe. Is that what it was called? And the Seven Rings. I heard that one was good. Hopefully, I can check that out soon, too. I know that one's on just got notified it was shipped. <laughs> Chunky, excuse me, was great. Oh, okay, I'll make sure I watch that one sometime. It looked like it was good. I'm also looking forward to the new, uh, the new Spool German movie in December. It's my dad's uh, favorite superhero, so. I've always grown up loving the Spider-Man movies. The latest ones have been really nice too. Okay, it's enough tapping. Let's just do that so we could uh, hear more of the whispering. Since we've never really done that before. Mm. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, you know what I have here? I wonder if this sounds good. I have a, uh, a clothespin. Does it sound nice? Little wooden tapping sounds. Loki was really good too. Ooh! Spidey is your favorite too. Super hyped. When I saw the trailer, I was like, man, I'm really looking forward to it. And then I had to uh, ask my dad if he saw it too. So exciting. I've never seen clothespin triggers before. I mean, it sounds nice. <laughs> Sometimes the ASMR is just picking up whatever is lying around your desk and going with it. Can streamer con streamers control how many channel points people get? Um, can we? I don't remember actually. That's a good question. Have you seen the second in the movie? I actually haven't even seen the first one. Was it good? The triggers are nice too. Especially the lids of a cosmetic. Are correct. However, um, I do not own makeup. I don't wear it, so I don't really have anything with like a lid on it. I know some people use like uh, candles, candle holders with lids, but I don't really have that one either. It was dumb fun, better than the first one. Really, I forgot that there was a second Venom movie actually. Hmm. Let's see. Let me check. 
kind of curious. Do I need to control the rate of the channel points? And let's find out. Mm. Mm. Remember, you some that's for ASMR before that is the lid for my pair of scissors. The scissors. It doesn't make the best lid sounds, but it's okay. We can try it. Hold on. One second. Mm, you are a reward. Channel point. Mm, let's see. It looks like I cannot control the rate. You guys uh, save up the channel points. Interesting. It's very good. If you plan on watching the next Spider Man movie, recommend catching a lot of movies. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I wasn't personally super interested in the Venom movies, but if I have time, I can try them out. I haven't had a ton of time for uh, watching, watching movies. Normally, my schedule is I wake up at about 6 a.m. I go to work. I come home. Um, I, I am tired and so I take a little nap. And then I, I eat dinner and stream. And then I go to sleep. And when I do have free time, I'm usually working on stream stuff. When I watch movies, I normally, uh, I like to watch them when I'm not really multitasking because it bothers me if I miss stuff. Join the in your favorite band. Never had one before. I don't think I have a favorite band either. I don't really listen. Usually listen to a lot of those kind of music. Maybe. I wonder if Nikki is donating now. Maybe. As long as she's not crying, it's fine. Oh, sounds like she got a hold of her snack. Mm, 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 yeah. Especially because I like having uh, subtitles on, because sometimes they talk really quietly, and I have no idea what anyone's saying. So subtitles are nice. just releases new music and you're like, oh, I vibe with that. And then more new music gets released, you know? Didn't know a native English speech speakers also did that. Is it normal? Um, I think for the, if I had to guess, I feel like for, uh, mm, for youngerish people, I've noticed like more of my friends and stuff will like English subtitles, but for uh, older generations, they don't like it. That's what I personally noticed for the people that I know. I don't know how uh, uh, popular it is though. I have seen quite a few people online though say that even though they uh, they're, you know, fluent in English. They just prefer having the English subtitles on. 
mood. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It bothers me if like, you know, one of the characters say something and I, I don't understand what it is they said. Welcome, welcome. Very interesting, yeah. I'm sure it just varies from person to person. I do know that a lot of them um, think that it just gets in the way too, that it's distracting because they'll start reading instead of like actually watching what's going on in the movie. Native English speakers are uh, having English subtitles on, even though the movie is in English. 30 seconds to Mars, so I don't remember what popular songs they had. I have heard of them though. Enjoy having closed captions on because I miss dialogue or sounds in the background. Yeah, sometimes there will be sounds and I'll be like, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Thankfully, sometimes the closed captions will, will tell you what it was and I'll be like, oh, I understand now. Subtitles in English with English stuff, yeah. Watch everything with subtitles on because hearing is quite understandable, yeah. Tune them out if need be, but I always want them on, yeah. Same, same. Personally, I, uh, I do not care for the English stuff, but I understand some people uh, have to have them or just prefer them. Like having subtitles on too, because I don't have to rewind several times to be sure of what I heard. Yeah, exactly. Bless you, Nikki. Some actual brushing triggers. Chibi looks like it's lost its hands. It's because they are long sleeved. They're very long sleeves. So you have real, just little stubby hands at the end. That's all. Or maybe I don't have hands. Who knows? <laughs> Alright. Thanks for the lid sounds. I hope they sounded okay. And to be honest, I, I started uh, zoning out and just talking and not paying attention to the sounds. <laughs> that is a part.
introducing more new stuff, which is cool. Oh, that's nice. Mm, years ago, they did more than fix up. They added so much. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it was definitely years ago, but uh, regardless, it's just not my kind of game. That stuff. Isn't it also first person? I get motion sick when I play first person games. Hello, Death for All. I can't remember if you could toggle between first and third person. You can switch to third person? Oh, I see. Would you ever want to play VR Phasma? Um, no, because like I said, I get motion sick, for one. Uh, secondly, I don't care for Phasma, and I don't think it is a fun stream game to watch, personally, so it's not something I would ever stream. I do not care for uh, watching Phasma streams, personally speaking. I know it is very popular and lots of people do. I don't, uh, I usually am uh, very picky about co-op horror games. As a viewer, so I don't care for it. Thank you for the hydrate redeem sour milk. Alrighty. I will mute myself to drink some water. Okay. Let's take a short break from the fuzzy makeup first. Mm. when the streamer has a way for viewers to interact like through stream notes and stuff um i think my issue is that it's just not in, it doesn't feel immersive as a game itself loot is fine and all but if i'm not having fun watching the stream i don't i don't want to it's not something I'm, I want to stream, personally speaking. There are a few other games that are pretty popular that I don't really see myself ever playing on stream. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Animal Crossing has been very popular lately. I do not mind watching those streams, but I don't know about streaming it myself. The yeah, update looks cute though. Do you like Subnautica first person but fun? I liked watching gameplay of it. Watch, uh, watching people stream it. Uh, back when it was still in beta actually years ago. But I don't know how I would uh, with the motion sickness and all, it gets quite bad and I start feeling very sick. So, probably not for me. 
Hello, London. Welcome, welcome. Sometimes you can still watch those games when you like the streamer. But just to some extent, I think, understandable. But, mm, I I prefer it when all the people are there because because they both are enjoying the game and the streamer and their reactions etc if it's like oh i'm just here for the streamer i don't really care about the game itself it feels kind of bad i mean it's great that they're still there for the the streamer and all but i would like something that is entertaining uh, as a whole have you seen the game grounded i have not i don't think i've ever actually heard of that one that's correct yeah yeah i feel like i am also one of those people that just tend to not watch a lot of collab streams so that's why i call Games or co-op games are usually not my thing. Granted, it's a cool game. What kind of game is it? The one with the arachnophobia slider? What does that mean? I'm kind of scared to ask, but that sounds terrifying. Almost 3 a.m. debating whether I should do homework or sleep. Probably sleep, it is very late. I hope you have a good rest and are able to get the homework done later. You can make the spiders look less spidery. Wow, that's really neat actually. I have a friend who is uh, arachnophobic. That's nice. We have gone 20 30 minutes with the GP model. Yes, Nikki. So I will first grab this blanket so that Nikki may be calm and possibly even go to sleep. And And you can change the model back. Survival game, but you're the size of an ant. Oh, interesting. I usually... Uh, survival games are not usually my thing. Hey, you know, Nikki? What? All of a sudden, she doesn't want to come. Alright, fair enough. Thank you for the pet, the taco, a demon, come, trio, Lina. Alrighty. I will. The pupper posture check and stretch to the left and right and I will mute myself to drink some water. Mr. Kanungus thinks that frogs are devils. I think that's kind of, um, uh, discrimination, if I am not mistaken. Can we get a ban for Mr. Kanungus, please? There it is. Good morning. If you turn it all the way down, the spiders turn into harmless looking blobs. Wow. We can bring out the... Wooden frog sure give me one second. My Nikki is barking at me. Goodbye, Chibi Chan. You okay, Nikki? Are you ready to sleep? Hmm? One moment. 
Oh, so. There we go. Alright. What app do you use to change models so easily? This is VTube Studio. I think it's the app that most people use for the, the 2D stuff. To my knowledge. I heard that there's a Japanese one that came out a while ago. But... <laughs> you can manage it. I know, I know. Uh, I have to do everything in this house, do I? One second, it's being very needy right now. Yeah. About to get some kettle kettle, yeah. <laughs> Look, the frog devil on Google. Apparently, there's a frog referred to as such. Do you think that somewhere out there there is a frog horror movie? I hope it's public domain. That way, we can watch it for uh, the horror movie night. I want to schedule those next week. The horror movie. Um, Uwu speak, Uwu speak Fifty, Shade, Fifty Shades of Uwu, um, can't remember what else, I'll, I'll figure it out. Let's see, let's see, let's see, where's my earphones? Okay, frog, devil, devil trigger frogs, alright. Oh my gosh, Angel Steps, thank you so much for the raid. Hello Raiders, how was your stream? What were you guys playing? Were you doing ASMR? Hello, hello Angel. How was stream? Angel Raid, such cute teammates. You were doing ASMR, nice, nice. I hope you guys are all very comfortable. Hope you're having a lovely stream. You are also doing is more noise. Fellas, please make sure you guys go check out Angel and give them a follow. I'm sure they were doing lovely ASMR. If you need to rest, please go do so, Angel. Thank you, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello, raiders. For those of you who haven't been here before, I will, um, no, but my name is Jen, we are just vibing today, doing some comfy, um, uh, someone just read to me, wooden frog tree triggers, Mr. Kalunga, so we'll take up this wooden frog, Manala is so comfy looking, thank you, thank you, and then we'll mess with that a little bit after I, uh, Finish greeting everybody. Hello, give me one moment. Oh, that's the bong. <laughs> I was still quick to the YouTube studio. I'm so sorry. Oh, there we go. Where get me? I forgot to lock the model. You guys saw nothing. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Hello, Sharia. Hello, Narosi. Hello, Video James. Hello, Nino. And Ramkind. Chaos Gamer. Chaton. Hello, Dodge. Ooh. Zingo. Unattended Spartan. The Bushman. Crazy Guy. Triski. Oh, spades. Hantaro. Hantaro himself. Oh my gosh, what an honor. Hello, Kitsujin. And... Did I miss anybody? They made a monster's movie in the 1900s. Oh my gosh. I will look that up, but I feel like some people will probably not be comfy with that. But it sounds like it could be good. Okay, have a good lurk, Angel. Thank you again. Hello, Nino. Hello, NASCAR rider. Frog, yes, we have frog. Is that Hamtaro? Yeah. I will uh, thank everybody for the follows as well. And give Taco Pets for the follows in just a moment. One second. 
another raid? What? Oh my god. Go Maria. Maria, thank you so much for the raid. Oh god, the full raid. Hello raiders. I'm so sorry to be that I greeted you late. I was still catching up the chat. Hello, hello. Welcome, Rise and Pain. How is it? Yes, I'm Maria. Hello, Alex. Hello, TL Prodigy. And Lieutenant Shadow. Draconis Alexander. Pick and Wing. <laughs> he missed that second wave incoming. Oh my gosh. Hello, Azora. Hello, me. They were going to raid us and followed us up. Uh, you gotta love it when you accidentally raid somebody who is raiding you. It happens. Hello, ice cream. Yes, I hope you both had lovely ASMR streams. And your stream. Raid, yes, warrior. Okay, okay. Crying over the raid message. Oh no, what was it? Did I miss it? Oh, what was the raid message? Alrighty. Maria, thank you so much for the raid as well. Please get some rest if you need to. Hello, hello, raiders. I am Jen, if you haven't been here before. And today... We're going to be doing, um, some comfy reading and, uh, fuzzy mic cover trickers, probably. And I also have to do some wooden frog trickers as well. All the cute ASMR YouTubers have these, yeah? Oh, oh, the second wave incoming message. Oh, I see, I see. Got it, got it. I remember when I was a kid, they made and one eyeball evil monster just one eye oh my god Mio if you remember what that was called please let me know because we're supposed to be doing a public domain horror movie stream night hopefully next week and I haven't been able to find really bad horror movies Meow? was there a meow? oh you guys might be uh, thinking of a uh, might be hearing my dog, Nikki. She is a whiny pupper. Yeah. She acts like a kitty, but she is indeed a pupper. Thank you, Ivan. And thank you for shouting out Maria again, Mr. Kanungus. Thank you guys again for the raid. Please get rest if you need to. Alrighty. It was so close to him. Yeah, yeah, I love it when my dog. Let me thank everybody for the follows as well, and then I will owe Pupper many pets. Let's see. Swag Ostrich, Single, Semron, Comfy Alice, The Wild Firen. Oh no, I can't read that name. I'm so sorry, it's in Japanese. It's in Kanji and I can't read it. Kojiks, Rise and Pain. Daigatsu, Onkratia Kotsuki, Obtained Yard, Eclipsed Kitsune, Ix, Tomoyo, Vesilius, Raccoon God, Dern, Wool, Nascar Rider, Hamtaro, Romkind, Korean, DJ, not DJ, Kotaro, Crow, Chaton, Asvi, Angel Steps, X-Man, Triski, All Spades, and Kitsujin. Thank you so much for the follows of that. How, how, how many was that? How many taco pets do I? Let's see, I'll let you know. Thank you, Mio. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think you might be lying to me, Hirito. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty, or 37 th- th- 38 probably facetious thank you for the follow as well and Johnny Farrell thank you also okay come here Doko. You, I owe you many many pets Altis and Wink and Deathless Candy welcome and the Bushman I'm gonna go ahead and say it's about 40 pets Alright, this is now dog petting ASMR. Come here, Nikki Nikki. Oh, Alright. We're gonna count all over again. We'll start from 40 this time. I'm sorry, Mr. Kanungus. I know I still owe you wooden frog ASMR. How do we get multipliers? No, no, that's okay. Why did I say multipliers? It's multipliers. Forty doggo pets go. Thank you for the forty-five bits, Nino. I appreciate the support. Thank you for more important. We will get to the wooden frog devil triggers after. Hello, Scrota. Tokoyamiyosu. Thank you for the follow as well. Okay, forty-one pets starting now. Forty-one. Forty. 
three extra follows. One, two, three, four. There we go. There we go. All right. Bubble got 44, 44, 45 pets. Adrift Albertson, thank you for the follow as well. Enjoy the follower emotes. Beginning to question the ethics of this. What do you mean? She got she got 45 pets. That's a good thing, right? She cries because she always cries. <laughs> I hope when the subathon chat commands is exclamation point Nikki, that would be a good one. I don't think Brando has decided yet though. Huge fan of the background you have. It's so relaxing and calming. Thank you, Kotaro. I also love the background. I love pixel art. Hello, Harry. Sleepy baby. She uh. was trying to go to sleep, but now she is being whiny again. Draconis, Alex. Alright, one more. Taco pet. Pet, pet, pet. There we go. Popper says, me, me. Pay attention to me, I guess so. She does get very whiny only during streams. Maybe the reason for that is that she just wants attention. It's all coming together now. Alright. Wooden frog go. Hello, pets. Get up, get up. Get up, get up. Get up, get up. Really nicely. Thank you for the walk. Yeah. Running water. Yes, I have a little bit of background water sounds uh, to cover up the uh, background noise a little bit. Good boy. Thank you for the follow. Please make yourself at home. And thanks for your follow. I will give Taco another pet. She is all settled into sleep. Right now she's kind of just staring out. Kettle, kettle. I guess that emote is kind of perfect for the kettle, kettle checker, isn't it? Shh, shh, shh. What's wrong, baby? Are you just seeking attention? You wanna go back down? I think maybe she still wants more of her snack. Alright, alright. Oh, sure. There we go. <laughs> we'll see. Nothing, nothing ever appeases the Nikki. Okay. This has been nice. While I speed run in all the ground of Animal Crossing. <laughs> That's so powerful, Violet. Though. Can you have an alt account? Are there multiple saves? Oh wait, there's the profile stuff, right? So you can have a... So if you have a different profile, you can have a different... Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Right, right, right. Get up, get up. Get up, get up. 
people who are like restarting their islands and stuff are so powerful because I managed to get all of the villagers I wanted and I don't think I could ever restart it would be too painful Spanish ASMR, it is uh, the onomatopoeia for ribbit ribbit uh, because we are doing wooden frog triggers right now. Share my island with my mom, couldn't possibly delete it. Understandable, yeah, of course. Dog is cat, but dog is also chicken. She is a coward. She is the biggest scaredy cat that I ever knew. Mm hmm. I also don't know any Spanish, so... Quiero, quiero. Quiero, quiero. Quiero, quiero. Quiero, quiero. Hello, Adam and Angel. Thank you for the follow. Please make yourself at home. Thanks for your follow. I will give the pupper another pet when she's done wandering around the room. She made a noise similar to a chicken earlier. It was very cute. Did she? All of her noises have blended together for me. Daco is cat petted. I owe her a pet indeed. She is happily munching on your snack right now, so I don't want to, uh, disturb her. Shizukimo, welcome, welcome. Please enjoy the follower emotes. That's two doggo pets I own now. Okay, Adam, have a good sleep. It is actually getting a little bit late for me, but I had such a late nap today, so we'll go on for a little bit longer. Chickens can actually be really sweet and cuddly as pets sometimes. Really? I don't think I've ever heard of anybody keeping a chicken as a pet, but that sounds really cute. The sun is rising here. Oh no, Tartigridu. I hope you had good sleep at least. Hello, Beechuk. Yes, Nikki. You okay? I'm just sniffing around right now. Maybe we will do a little more reading today. And then we'll start winding uh, down. Oh, my old, old lady little puppy. Yeah. Are you being oppressed? Is that what this is? Mama, not paying enough attention to you. And have a group of all black chickens as pets. Very silly and lovely. Aw, oh, that sounds cute. Didn't sleep yet. Had some work to do. Almost finishing it. Oh no. Yeah, so I is good for work. Oh. Well, that's good at least. You're okay, yeah, Nikki. Her whines sound like a rubber chicken squeak. I have never heard it called that before. The uh, and depressing me. I don't know what you're talking about, Long Town. I don't depress anyone, yeah, Nikki. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Hello, Rocky. Welcome, welcome. Hashtag free Nikki. What are you talking? She is perfectly happy and content. Everything's fine, right, Nikki? You good? Okay. 
Would it be more comfy if I sat like this? Yeah? I'm losing the feeling in my leg. You're depressing. Could have been the only one, right? No, you're definitely hearing things hot dog. No worries. Alright. Let's see. Oh yeah, we can read. Who took the cookies from the cookie jar? Thanks to who are you? You want to sleep on the bed? Yeah? Is that more comfy? I don't know what she wants from me. She just wants all the attention. Yep. Most spoiled doggo in the world. It's okay to spoil Nikki. I guess so. She is used to it. Yeah, alright. Hopefully she'll be okay for now. Let's see if we can do some reading. Who took the cookies from the cookie jar? By Bonnie Lass and Valm and Sturgis. Who took the cookies? From the cookie jar. Who took the cookies from the cookie jar? We also do some brushing triggers at the same time, cause why not? Who took the cookies from the cookie jar? Yes, Nikki. Why are you on the other side of the bed? Come here. She's sniffing around like she still wants snacks, but it was on the ground. They let her on the ground, yeah? Come here. Come here, son. You were the silliest dog in the world. Silliest pupper. Okay, NASCAR rider, have a good sleep. Thank you for dropping by. Who took the cookies from a cookie jar? The jar was full. Where did they go? Hmm. Hmm. Now I know. Oh yeah, maybe this was a bad choice. Now she wants cookies. Is this a Nikki stream now? No. The Nikki ASMR is truly taking over. Mouse took the cookies from the cookie jar. Who? Me? Couldn't be. Please don't tease. I eat cheese. The lasagna dogs welcome, welcome. Crab Stealer, thank you for the follow. Please make yourself at home. And thanks for your follow. I will give Whiny Pupper another pet. Alright, she's looking around like she still wants snacks. Alright, there you go. Thank you. Then, who took the cookies? The jar was full. Where did they go? Hmm. Hmm. Now I know. Nikki? Nikki, sweetie. You're being silly. You yeah? cannot have any attention 24 7. Shh, 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 shh. Come here. Are you really? Ah, <laughs> go bring up the mic stand. Pick up the taco. Come here. Come here, silly. Oh, you are so silly. Silliest pupper in the world. I just took you. Isn't it? What the dog saying? He's saying, free me. I am being oppressed by mother. Mother no longer loves me. Unhappy Nikki. She is always like this. All the time. So sweet to her puppy, am I? I don't know. I feel like Nikki is saying, no, I am not spoiled enough. Alright, Dr. Kratu, thank you for pet the doggo. We spoil pupper. The Kraken, thank you for the follow. Please make yourself at home. And thanks for your follow. I give spoiled dog. One more pets. Oh, silly dog. Yeah. Silly. Thank 
welcome. Alright. Can I continue now, Nikki? Do I have your permission? No. No. Oh, what you giving kisses for, huh? I already gave you a snack. You cannot have more. Bell Sprout, thank you for the raid. And have a good lurk on them. Hello, readers. How was stream? What were you guys? Oh, you were doing ASMR again. Nice, nice. I hope you all had a nice, comfy ASMR session with Bell Sprout. Hello Raider, Zombie, thank you for the hydrate redeem. I will hydrate right after I finish greeting Raiders. You were painting, that sounds super comfy. I actually, uh, I got into ASMR because I loved watching, um, I loved watching painting. It's so nice. Hello Zombie, hello Kraken, I was like an angel stream. Now I'm here, love your model, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I know Angel is also doing really nice, comfy ASMR. Painting violence? Well, as long as it was comfy violence, right? Rainer and Zombie, thank you for the follows. Thanks for your follows, I give taco pets. Thank you for shouting out Bell's Route Aurora, fellas. Please make sure you go check out Bell's Route and give them a follow too. Hello, Ethan. Please get some rest, Bell's Route. Thank you so much again for the raid. Have good sleep if you need to. I kick pies. Oh no, why? Thank you for the follow. Please make yourself at home. And thanks for your follow, I give Toko another pet. I sleep now, have a good stream, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, we were just reading who took the cookies from the cookie jar while we were trying to appease our, our lord and savior, Nikki the Taco. Not pickles here, all usual episode. You are both pies and pickles. Alrighty. Let us do some more reading. Raven took the cookies from the cookie jar. Who? Me? Couldn't be. Don't squirm. Eat a worm. Kingson, thank you for the follow as well. Well, shakes and pets, okay. He keeps calling you pickles. Oh, <laughs> well, pickles is in this thing too, right? Nikki, what's wrong? Hmm? You ate your dinner. I just took you out. And you had snack. And you had nap. Why are you whining? Puppy, puppy. She's actually, um, very old. She is a 12 year old lady. Shh. Oh my goodness, what do you want from me, my dear? Hmm? Wanna go down again? Hey, silly taco. Alrighty. Then, who took the cookies? And. Nikki, she wants to go out. I can't let her out because. Because the bigger doggo is out there. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. You cannot patrol today, my dear. Okay. For those of you who don't know, Nikki has a thing about wanting to walk around the, uh, the, uh, the, the house to patrol to make sure everything is okay. Um, but she is a tiny dog and she is very scared of the bigger doggo. And so, um, I cannot let her out right now to patrol because my, my brother-in-law is in the next room over and I, I, it's probably, you know, not very polite to 
uh, me doing ASMR with the door open, so we can't have that, Nikki. And I also cannot let her stay outside the room by herself because uh, it is not the safest thing to do. Nikki wishes to roam free, yes, but mother says no. Mother is mean. Jail for mother, yes. Yeah, is mama mean to you? <sighs> puppy is a state of mind, yes. Yes, she has been puppy all her life and she will be puppy forever. Puppy, uh, Pathy, and thank you for the follow. Please make yourself at home. And thanks for your follow. I will give Toko another pet. Pet, pet, pet. Thank you, definitely co-host. She's definitely something, yeah? Definitely spoiled. Free range, thank you. Yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably end soon. I'll try to figure out what exactly she wants from me. But we can finish reading first. It's not too long. Then, who took the cookies? The jar was full. Where did they go? Hmm. Hmm. Now I know. Reminds me of that meme with the guy in the bar screaming, I won out. Yeah, I guess that's Nikki, huh? Yeah. Are you being oppressed, little pupper? Thank you, Draconis. Requires full attention. <laughs> yeah, even though she is more than an adult. And who, can, who should be able to take care of herself, right, Nikki Nikki? Chloe, thank you for the follow as well. One more dog pet. Pop, uh, pet. I was gonna say pupper. So comfy here. Oh, I am glad it is comfy in spite of little taco whining. Squirrel took the cookies from the cookie jar. Who? Me? Couldn't be. I munch nuts for lunch. Never thought I'd hear you being oppressed in such a comfy way. <laughs> the Ontario ASMR stream went. And who took the cookies? The jar was full. Where did they go? Hmm. Hmm, now I know. God, I discovered you. I'm loving this. Aw, thank you, Katkin. I am glad you are enjoying our special brand of comfy ASMR. <laughs> Rabbit took the cookies from the cookie jar. Hmm, me? Couldn't be. Must hop. Never stop. Is that why you need- you were upset, Nikki? You needed to toot? <laughs> as soon as I put her on the bed. Here, do you want- do you want a blanket? <laughs> that was almost as loud as one of Emmy's. Why are all the tacos here? So... so gassy. <laughs> Hello, facetious. Come see the oppression inherent in the system. The Nikki ASMR trick. I have never heard of that particular um, ASMR trigger before. <laughs> Hello, owl. Oh boy. Nikki's a go away. Oh, what? Are you embarrassed now because everybody heard you toot? Yeah. Just about Nikki Nikki. Hmm. Makes you feel better. It wasn't that stinky. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're almost halfway done. Like I could have been done by now if you would if you would let me read. Yeah. All righty. Then who took the cookies? The jar was full. Where did they go? Hmm. Oh, now I know. 
turtle took the cookies from the cookie jar. Um, hold on. It's kind of cut off a little bit. Who? Me? Couldn't be. As you can see, I'm much too lazy. I'm, I'm, I'm making things up because it, it's cut off and I don't know what it says. Nikki says it was all worth it. <laughs> I know, she's gonna be so embarrassed. Is that why you're crying, Nikki? Because the world heard you. Emerald Airman and Nick sign, thank you for the follows. Please make yourselves at home. And thanks for your follows. I give Toko more pants. Oh, silly little pupper, yeah. No one took the cookies? That's crazy. Are you spoiling the book, Emerald? Hello, him. Him? Him? Emmy, hello, hello. Then who took the cookies? The jar was full. Where did they go? Hmm. Hmm. No, I know. Snake took the cookies from the cookie jar. Don't know if you saw my gum. Actually, you see. Soothing and cooing at Nikki is very relaxing and wholesome. It's not as disruptive as you think. Thank you, Jerkanis. I'm sorry I did miss your comment, but I am glad that there are upsides to Nikki whining ASMR. Nikki wants to fight the oppression and fight the system, I guess, so she's trying to re. 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 um. She's trying to break the barriers of what ASMR is supposed to be. If a doggo wants to whine, that can be comfy too, right? Maybe the cookie jar is half full but half empty, maybe. Who? Me? Couldn't be. I'm stuffed, can hardly speak. I ate an antelope last week. Then who took the cookies? The jar was full. Where did they go? Hmm. Hmm. No, I know. Man, this uh, skunk, I think is what it is, is very accusatory, I think. Snake from Metal Gear took the cookies. Oh my god, that's insane. Can't wait for Nikki's lie to be revealed. Actually, Mr. Kanungis, you know, um... There was a really neat post I saw on Twitter. Um, some of you might know that recently, a uh, live a uh, VTube Studio or no no, no uh, the live 2D stuff. No yeah, VTube Studio added hand tracking. Um, so it is now possible to be able to track like hands and stuff, and you can also use that system. To, uh, you can have it connected to your expressions as well and so people were like hmm oh, so if you can do that I wonder if you could you have like a hand puppet thing and control like an animal with uh, like a live 2D animal of sorts with that so like like when when your hand like does a certain thing it would register as like a smile on the quote-unquote puppet or the hand tracking or when you like make a talking motion it talks i thought that was a really neat idea hopefully we can see like some like you know lots of youtubers have a little pet friends i think it would be really cool if we could have like tracking one day that would be really neat yeah yeah i saw that yeah <laughs> oh okay nice to meet you emmy kind of like ai in a way yeah yeah shh, shh, shh. all right almost done nikki almost done and then we'll do whatever it is you want to do Talk of tracking i don't know about that but it would be neat to see what people come up with the dog on the lap, she was, but she was unhappy with this. So I let her back down. 
Alrighty. Beaver took the cookies from the cookie jar. Who? Oh, me? Couldn't be. My favorite snack is sticks in a stack. Then who took the cookies in the cookie jar? Blech. Then who took the cookies? The jar was full. Where did they go? Hmm. Oh, now I know. Frog took the cookies from the cookie jar. Who? Me? Couldn't be. Surprise, surprise. I like gnats and dragonflies. And who took the cookies? The jar was full. Where did they go? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Now I know. Ants took the cookies from the cookie jar. You're right, it's true, but there's enough for all of you. Skunk is reaching. Actually, the skunk was correct. The ants stole a whole pile of cookies. We left the trail to show the way. So eat your cookies, then let's play. No, they, they're still thieves though, but at least they shared. The frog was a rage. Oh yes, understandable. Unless the frog like go, uh, swallowed them all at once. I'm sure that's possible, right? Okay. Taco has been very, very whiny today. So I'm gonna go see what it is she wants. And then we will, we will, uh, we will go to sleep, I guess. But for now, let us find somebody to liberate. I promise you, Nikki, you will get all, all the cookies. You will not get cookies. You so crave. Why didn't they just say so from the beginning instead of letting everyone else get blamed first, right? Why is the AI? Thank you for the follow. Please make, please make yourself at home. Thanks for your follow. I give Taco another pet. And thank you, Zombie, for the stretch redeem. The suggestion? Mm, sure. If they're a comfy VTuber doing ASMR, that would especially be nice. Hmm. <laughs> Scooby snacks for Nikki. She just had a treat tonight, actually. So she really shouldn't be whining. Let's see. I've hated them before. Maybe we can find somebody new today. Thank you for stream, Jen. It's been very comfy. I am glad that it has been comfy in spite of all of the Nikki ASMR today. Nikki ASMR just got a new mic, not a YouTuber though. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Bye, y'all. Hi, Jen. Really now? Will the mic pick it up? Yes, it will, sir. Please, please do not yell. For those of you who do not know, Mr. LaRoche there is my brother-in-law. He is in the next room over. So if he yells right now, you guys will hear it. <laughs> please do not do this. <laughs> Two in one second, one day, love. Well, thank you, Tartika, too. Alright, quick, we have to raid fast before we suddenly have screaming ASMR on our Order making I am begging you, Nikki. I am pleading and begging you. Alright. Good to know the Apex. Oh god, fellas, we gotta raid right now. We have a we have a gamer on our hands. Alright, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Tomorrow night. Actually I guess tonight for most of you. Um we're going to be playing more Pokemon Ultra Moon Randomized Chat Log if you would so like to join 
at 9 p.m. Pacific time, I think. Yes, we are ending because Doko has been very, very whiny tonight, and I do need to get some sleep. My Pokemon, yes, thank you all so much for joining me. We're going to go to the ending screen. Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye.